Hey guys, welcome back to Mediocre Commentaries, and today we're going to be doing a Zone 1 tower, which is Tower of Yearning Success. So, let's get into it. Anyway, this tower is very long and pretty hard as well, so make sure you have a lot of time on your hands before doing this. Now, start off, go through that wall, the opposite of where it says, don't expect every wall to be stable. And don't go over there first, you want to go over here, do a little kind of wrap jump. Oh, well, I failed it. Yeah, or you could do that, where you just climb up onto the thing, but you want to get this button. Then, it looks like you have to go up here, but no. No. You want to go up here. And these jumps are hard. Uh, there we go. And then once you're over here, you want to jump down to here. That part's hard. And don't go over there. You want to go this way. And don't get caught between the pushers. Just get a good rhythm for it, and you will be fine. It's going to keep going. And then you can go up here. And don't die of damage on this part. That would be sad. Just just don't, honestly. Not much really to commentate on the first four. First floors, really. Anyway, now you can go up here. And uh, again, don't take too much damage. I would recommend having trail mix. And then you can just keep walking around. Jump. If These skill bricks hurt a lot for some reason. So, yeah. Anyway, press this button. And you can go over here. Monk, 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 monk. And then, where as the arrow points, you want to go over to here. That jumps a bit far, so be careful. Then, you want to jump down to here. Now, heal up before you do this, because you're going to take a lot of damage on this part. And that brick right there, that teleports you to over here. Or carries you, depending on what you want to say. Anyway, point is, you're at floor 2. Then, after that, you just want to go over here. Just do a few jumps above the kill bricks and then you get this maze part the, okay so the strat is once you get it once you get in the maze you want to go over go over here go in this little one stud gap go down here go in another one stud gap then go down here and then you can get this button now that's not that's not the end of the maze that button only unlocked another door in the maze now you want to go back out then you want to go down here go down here and then you this new corridor is open so you can get this button and then that's the button you need to get and that's the maze it's a very short maze anyway now you can go over here, out here, and yeah. Then you want to go on these kill. Don't. I said go on these kill bricks. I did not mean that. I meant dodge them. Anyway, it looks like this, you don't want to go over there. You want to go over here. It looks like it's it's a simple five stud, but no, there's an invisible wall here that makes it just that much harder. So it's like if you can see it right there, you actually have to do a kind of a stick out as well. Anyway, then you just want to do these jumps. Okay, I guess I'm. I I don't know how I failed those to be honest. And anyway, then you can just go over here. I'm sorry for the lag. It's very laggy. You could do those jumps or you could wrap around like I did. But anyway, you want to go over here. And then you can hit this button. It's a very small button. And then you can do this head hitter. And then you get to the head hitter part. Go up on here. Do a little head hitter. Do another head hitter. And then that's the end of the head hitter part. You can walk across all of these. It looks like you have to do head hitters. No, you can just walk. Very convenient, because doing these all as head hitters would suck. And then you're at 4-3. Oop, that was, um, that was scary. Uh, but anyway, what you want to do is do a little jump like that. Then you can go over here, and you can just high jump this if you want to, like this. But... There we go. You can high jump that, so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, once you, once you get up here, you can press this ball. But the actual route would be to keep going around and you can get to that. Get this ball, and then you want to push it down to that button from earlier. Oh, nice, I got a first try. It usually takes a few, a few more tries. And then it's a timed button, so you gotta be quick. You wanna go up this ladder, do this, do this, and then do that wrap. And then you have the you can't go up this truss yet because invisible wall, so you, what you wanna do is you wanna go down here. And then you start backtracking to floor one. And you it will automatically collect the key when you get down here, but basically what you wanna do is just go over here, do that jump. That's a bit tough, but yeah. Oh, whoop. And if you fall, then you just get teleported back. I don't even know why there's kill bricks there, because, like, you just get teleported anyway. But, yeah. And also, this tower is very, very creative. I don't know how it didn't get a creativity star, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway, just then go on these spinning platforms, and you can go... Okay, I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, getting up here this time. Uh, these are conveyors, so you can just let them take you. And then you can go over here. Do a little jump like that, and then you can get up to here. Now you're back at floor two. And you want to go up here. 
and this is where you get a bunch of one stud spam which isn't really spam it's kind of it's pretty creative i really like this tower just keep wrapping around here and land on the one studs yeah then you want to climb up on this one you want to aim for this stud instead of that one because it's an easier jump and you just want to keep wrapping around and then you want to aim for that stud like that then you're back at four three and this is the final backtracking for what you want to do is you want to get up on this one actually no it doesn't matter which one you get up on you can just climb you can just go over here basically you want to get on this side then you can start doing the actual jumps there we go uh don't fall on this part because that would be kind of bad then you want to go back over here and then you can get this button and then this part unlocks so now you can get back up here and now don't go down again you now that you have this key from 4-1 you can uh, unlock this and then you can move on to 4-4 four, four. this spinner uh does a bit of damage so be careful just normal jumps not really much i can say this pusher takes you over here and these kill bricks do a lot of damage so be careful what you want to do is just land on this one stud then you can do this tightrope. I'm just going to do do it like this since I'm cool. Okay, I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I almost failed that. That was embarrassing. Anyway, then you want to go out here. This is the outside section. Don't fall in the outside section. Please do not fall in the outside section. J just don't. Don't fall in the outside section. It's, normal. it's just standard wraps anyway. You have no reason to fall on it. But anyway, just keep going over here. And then you can go up this thing. Now, this is the hardest uh, stick out of the tower, in my opinion, since it's like a head hitter. Since you're like, you have no room to jump. Basically, what you want to do is go to the very edge like this. I can line myself up. And then do a little jump like that. Now, you might be wondering, oh, where do I go? That's not a possible jump. Yeah, it's not. There's actually a platform here. So that's pretty cool. Then you want to hit this button. This button is very important to push. I actually, I actually don't know what it does, but push it anyway. Then, you want, then there's a few memory platforms here, as you can see. They're over there. But I know the route, so I'm going to do it. Then you want to land on this teleporter. Now, you're going to get teleported to three... You're going to get teleported to five places. And now, if you get teleported here, good job. That's one of them. That's one of the things you need to do. You're trying to get four buttons, basically. You want to jump over to... You want to go through that wall. Then you want to jump over to here. Then you want to jump over here. Go up here. And then you can get the green button. I like doing that. Yeah, get used to this teleporter because it happens later on floor 10 and it's scary. Then, uh, if you get teleported... There's the Thanos room, by the way. Oh, if you get teleported here, this is the blue button. Well, basically, just keep teleporting until you get to the places I'm at. There is no order you need to do these in, but it's fine. And even if you fall, they actually put a teleporter down here so you can just teleport back up. Pretty convenient. And so you can always teleport back up to four or five if you fall. If you fall, but anyway, just keep going until you actually get the right teleport. This is one of them. They just want to go over here, hit this button. That's the yellow button. Now you just need one more button, and I will try to get teleported to it. This isn't it. You want to get teleported to four two basically. There's the Thanos room. It's very trippy. Let me try to get to it. Dang, it's not getting me. It's not giving me it. It's not giving me the room. Uh, honestly, I might just go down. Whatever. Uh, give me a sec. I'll get. I'll meet you guys back up there when I actually get the teleport. Okay, I finally got it. You want to get teleported up to here? It took a lot longer than I thought it would. Usually, it only takes like five. It only takes like a minute for me to do this part. But, yeah, there's new red platforms here, and so what you want to do... Oh, yeah, this is what the red button activates, I forget. And then you want to push this purple button. And then after that, you want to go back to the... To here. And then you can go through this. And then these jumps, they're just stick outs, but, like, head hitters. So just go at the maximum, and you'll be fine. And now you get to the this stupid part, the elevators. I don't want to talk about the elevators. If you have T-Pose, this is where you want to use it. Just go up here. Anything with the particles is an elevator. Now you get to this part. If you touch these red kill bricks, you get teleported back. Now it seems simple enough, right? Well, um, that part over there is where it's where it's terrible. Anyway, use T pose here. It's a lot. It's very useful. I hit that button first. Then you can go over here. 
and hopefully I do this first try. So basically what you want to do is align yourself up to like here with T-pose, go up, line yourself up to like here, go over here, go over here, go over here. That part sucks. I don't want to get hit. Ooh, that's close. That is very close. I don't like that. But your goal is to get to this stud. So then you can, you can actually jump. Yeah, like that. Now, I'm glad I did that first first try because uh, when on my first run I did this, not this recording, but when I actually beat the tower, when I was trying to beat the tower, that part when I first got here took me 20 minutes because I didn't know where to align myself. But yeah, don't fall on this tightrope or else there is no catch zone. It, like there's no elevator on this part. So just don't fail the jump. Now you got uh, this jump. It's a uh, tightrope head hitter. That jump is kind of bad. Anyway, moving on. If you have a light item, it would be useful here. I'm just going to use crystal. Because it's a dark maze. And the, basically, the strat is go in between these lights. Go around here. And these lights, go, you want to go over here. Over here. And then get to this ladder. Now, don't keep holding W while you're on the ladder. Else you will fall. And now you're at floor 6. And just, these are disappearing platforms. The black is disappearing, basically. Get on this balloon, and then you can go over here. Then you can dismount from that balloon at any time. I just did it a bit early. Anyway, just keep going on the disappearing platforms. Jump over to here. Jump over to here. Jump over to here. Jump up here. And then you can jump over here. And then you get to box pushing. Because who doesn't love box pushing? Let me wait. I just want to get it up on this platform. Make sure it's a lot, there's a bit of space since you need to push it. Wait. My, uh, my thing. I got pushed down with it. I would recommend making it go to the side a bit for this part, just because you want it to not do that. You want it to get kind of stuck in between there, so I'll do it. I'll cut to when I do it. What you want to do is get it on this corner, and then you want to try to push it like that. You just want to keep pushing it until a gap appears where you can actually do it. So, yeah, I'll cut to when I do it. Okay, there, I finally got it out of that corner, and then you can just l lean it against this wall, and then you can hit this button. And now you can go back over here to the pusher. And then, uh, this little platform has risen, so you can go up here. Then you want to jump up here, do that jump. That jump's a bit far, so be careful. Then, right here, you just want to jump on this little climb, nice little ladder, and then you can jump down to here. And now you get to the fun part. This is the Garfield paintball part. Anyway, what you want to do is hit this button, you have time, then you want to do a corner glitch, which I... Uh, just look up a guide on how to corner glitch. Align your shift alt cursor with the middle, then go ghost it, and then you can just clip out like that. And what you want to do is hit all the buttons on Garfield. So, I would recommend going into first person for this, just because it's a lot easier. I actually just failed that button. I'm a bit embarrassed by that, since I'm actually pretty good at shooters. But anyway, what you want to do is just hit all the buttons on Garfield. Hit, hit, hit the button. There we go. Now you want to hit this one. Then, you want to hit this white button. Dang, my aim is off today. I don't know why. But anyway, it's timed. And if you fall here, uh, there it just teleports you back to the beginning. And then you want to hit this big button on Garfield's head. And now, this platform lights up so you can go over here. And what you want to do is you want to just get on Garfield's tail like this. And then, you can go onto this, like, glowy platform. And you're still going to have a lot of timers, so just be careful. And now you're at floor 7. This is also a really cool floor. It gets dark. And what you want to do first, you want to go down here. And now, uh, just do these easy jumps. Then you want to jump. Then you want to fall here. It'll teleport. Then you want to jump on this green thing. And then you want to jump up when you're out here. And then you want to jump on this pillar. And now you do the same thing again. But then, once you get to here, uh, a new path will appear. You'll go over here this time. And then... Uh, that's the end of the teleporting section. And then you can just do that. Then you just want to climb up here. So I can do this correctly. There we go. And you just want to go over here. Do a little uh, stick out jump. Then you just want to keep going in here. And then just do a lot of stick outs. Then you want to jump up in here. And then you want to get in between these brown things. And then you can go up here. And now this now this path is here. 
And now you get to the secret phrase part. Now, this phrase used to be just sans locator. It used to be just sans locator, but they changed it. So now you actually have to find the secret phrase. What you want to do is go on the Sonic statue, which is a phrase I would never thought I would say in my life. Um, oh, whoop, I fell. But yeah, just go on the Sonic statue, then go on these half studs. I'm going to use my light since it's a bit hard to see right now. Where's my crystal? There it is. Then just want to go in there. Then you want to jump down to here. And if you touch the black, you just get teleported to the beginning of the of the Sonic statue. So, yeah, just don't touch it. And let's do a little stick out. And then you can go over here. And then you want to go over here. You can, that's a head hitter, so be careful. Then you can go over here. And then you can go down here. Sorry if I'm just being a bit rudimentary with, uh, oh, then you go over here, then you go over here. But there's, that's really all it is. There's not many, there's not much to talk about. But yeah, then you just go, just do that jump. And then once you're here, you want to just kind of put your cursor against the wall so you can see uh, the phrase. And, my, and it's different for each player. So you actually do have to do this. And I think they want you to corner clip in there, but I don't really want to. So I'm just going to look and my secret phrase is hyphen, 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 the secret phrase. So now I'm going to teleport back down here. And then once, if I say hyphen, 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 the secret for, wait, give me a sec. That was my secret phrase though. Wait, am I supposed to say it once? What? Just say it like that. That's my secret phrase though. I don't understand what's going on. That is my, that's my phrase. What? I'm so confused. Why did that not work? I'll meet you guys when I do it correctly. What? That is my secret phrase. Hello? Why didn't it work? I'll try to see what works then? I don't know. Okay, I said that earlier. Oh, I put a space between the hyphens right there. I put a space between the hyphens, that's why. But yeah, just do that. And then you can go down here. And this one, uh, make sure you don't walk off like this. You just want to push that up, and then you can go over here. Now you're up for eight. And then you want to go up here, and then this thing will go down. I don't know why, but it does. Then what you want to do is just go on these studs, and then you want to touch this brick. Then you want to go to a bit to the left, so you can get, you can actually drop down on the correct brick. And now you get to pain. You just get to pain. This part. Oh, this part. Basically, you want to get these. You want to get that button, and to do that, you need to get two buttons. So let's start with the red button. Just don't, don't fail that rep, or else you will fall, and there is no saving you. You will just fall. Oop. Just do that. Jumps a bit something. And then this jump is also a bit something. Then this jump is also something. Make sure you don't take too much damage on this part because you can die. All those orange balls you see there, those are all like kill bricks. And if you have crystal, you could use it here, but I'm a gamer, so I'm not. But yeah, just do these jumps very quickly so you don't take too much damage. Oop, there we go. And the red button is the easy one. The green one sucks. <laughs> the green one just sucks. What you want to do is just go around like that. Then do a little, another wrap around like that. Make sure you don't fall. Then these are elevators. So just do that. And if you touch the kill bricks, then you just get teleported to the beginning of the painful part. Which is, you just get teleported to... Uh, like over there basically and yeah yeah and now what you want to do you want to do painful jumps these are falling platforms so they automatically suck then you want to do this jump then you want to do this jump <sighs> and what you want to do you want to get that button so I'll cut to when I get it you don't actually need to do that jump you can just hit this button then you can go over here and I'm gonna turn players off just so it's less lag and now you just want to do a very far jump like this and then you want to hit the button and then uh, just hope that you actually pushed it since that's a far jump. And then once you do that, you can not do that. You want to go back to that white button at the beginning over here. And now both of the paths are lit up, lit up. And you can skip the green button by doing a 12 stud jump. But you have to do a 12 stud jump over no catch zone. And I don't think I want to do that. So I'm not. And then we can go up here. And now you're at 4.9. Well, you have to go back to 4.8 in a bit. But you know what I mean. Whatever. And now, you just do this jump. And, you know, ins I don't really want to do all of that. So, I'm what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do that. You can skip that entire section by just climbing up on that. And that's what I'm going to do, since that section sucks. 
So just do that, go into first person, then try to aim for this corner. And if you fall, it's okay. You just had to, you, since you already hit the white button, the button doesn't reset, so you can just redo it. It saves so much time. There's no reason not to do that skip. And I already beat this tower legit by doing everything. I didn't do any skips, so I'm not doing that again because that section was pain. Now you want to not fall here, or else you have to do the skip again, which is it's not hard, but like anyway. Then he's got some one stud jumps. And then you can go up on here. Also, this music is kind of good. It's don't starve music. Then you want to go on this tightrope. I'm just going to do the fast way. And you don't need to jump. You can go as slow as you need to, but I'm not. Then you want to go over here. Go up on this platform. Then you can go on this wall. And then you are at floor 10. But don't think you are actually about to beat the tower because this is one of the longer sections. It might not look long. You might just see, oh, that's not that long. But you got to get the buttons. <laughs> There's buttons you have to get. And remember the teleporting part from 4-5? Yeah, you have to do that again on 4-10, but harder, because you have to do corner clips. Now what you want to do, you want to go on here, then jump onto this one, to get, and then get this key. And that key will unlock all, will make all of these platforms uh, go. So just do wraps, and just find a way that works for you, but I already know my, uh, my strategy for doing this part, so just do that. And then you unlock this one. Now let's see which one I get teleported to first. I got teleported to this one first. So, yeah, just do these jumps. Don't fall. There's no catch zone. There's no catch zone. Now, you're probably going to start feeling uh, really stressed now, and that's okay. Uh, I was so scared when I got to this part. I was terrified. Also, get good at corner clipping for this part, because you have to do the scariest corner clip on the tower. And it's scary because there's no catch zone on the corner clip, so if you do it wrong, you just die. Okay, I got teleported to this one. I'm guessing do, doing the scary corner clip last. You don't want to go up there. You just uh, get flung if you go up there. That's an elevator. What you want to do is go in here. And uh, get some healing items since you're going to take a lot of damage here. And if you get flung like that, it's okay. Your character will eventually stand back up. It happened again to me, bruh. Go in here, and then you want to dodge these kill bricks. These can the kill bricks are can't collide true. So squeeze between them, and you'll be fine. Now you just got to do one little wrap. Then you can get this button. Then you want to go back in here. Whoa, I took a lot of damage there. Then just dodge the kill bricks as usual. Then you just want to go back and maneuver, maneuver yourself through all these challenges. Not challenges, but just bricks. And and uh, this part this part is a scary corner clip. Because you got to do a corner clip on one stud. <laughs> I'm just going to wind myself carefully. Go one out. Then I'm a corner clip button like that. See, I am barely standing on here. That's why it's scary, because you just barely. But anyway, once you do that, you want to go down here. And then, once you do that, you want to go back on the Sonic statue. Do these half studs again. Then you want to jump go, jump to here. And then you'll notice this pink path has been lit up. And then you want to go up here. Do it'll stick out. And then you can get the final button by doing this. Here's the final button. And now, this is the scary part. The, the, the entering corner clip wasn't the hard part. The exiting the corner clip is the hard, is the hard part. Because uh, it's an outside section, so you just get dead if you fall. So hopefully I do this right. I am stressed out because uh, if you fail it, you just die. Okay, I did it. Phew. Yeah, that part's hard. But basically for the corner clip, just like align yourself carefully. Then go out one so you're ghosting like that. It makes it a lot easier. And then... You can go over here, and then just do these jumps. That jumps something, so just be careful. And this one says it's the worst wrap ever. It's really not. It's only a five stud. I don't really understand why people struggle with that. Then just do, just keep going in and out. This jump is something. Ooh, that jump. Mm. And of course, 410 has all the hard jumps. So it's just even more stressful because if you fall, uh, you have to just get back up. And this jump also sucks. Then you want to jump down to here. And then, please, for the love of God, don't fall here. This part, you see all these brown bricks? These are fake. So don't walk in there or else you'll just fall. It would be very, it would be not, it would be a very unpleasant experience for you. Then you just want to jump over here. And now, you can just go on this little ladder. And now... This tightrope. One time I fell on this tightrope. Now, if you look, that tightrope's pretty thin. 
It is a point one stud type rope. Oh dang, I got the alignment correctly first time. But basically, if you misalign yourself like this, and you won't be able to go on, go on the tightrope, just keep jumping and moving slightly so you can align yourself perfectly. And then, there you go. That's Tower of Yearning Success. It's a very long tower. It's so long. But, if you know the strats, you're fine. So, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. And I'll see you soon with another tower or just another episode of gameplay. See you guys soon.